Hey guys, welcome to Children's Story Time with Auntie Katie. Yay! Are you guys excited to be here? Yes! Lovely. So we're here in this beautiful savannah in Trinidad and Tobago. It's so gorgeous and the mountains are so beautiful, yes? You yes. guys? Yeah. Yeah, you guys, yes. love, you guys love to be in Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. Yes, it's Trinidad and Tobago, a beautiful place. Yes. Nice. So today we're going to read from The Clearing in the Forest, which is a book written by my mommy many years ago. It's a compilation of stories that she read for me at bedtime. And she published this book many years ago, like 1976, and that's like long before you guys were even a thought, right? But we're going to bring it back to life on Children's Story Time. So the only thing is, Auntie Katie is not going to read today to you. We're going to have Uncle Curtis. Yes? Are you excited to meet Uncle yeah! Curtis? Nice. So Uncle Curtis is going to come on and read the first story and then you guys will let me know how it goes, okay? Yeah. All right, good. Ah, good day. I'm Curtis, your storyteller. I sure Auntie Caitlin would have introduced or say something about me. Well, today I am here with my beautiful kids here who are here to tell a story. All you ready for the story? Yes! You're sure you're ready for the story? Yes! What kind of story you want to hear? Oh, the Bushman. The Bushman. You want a Bushman story? Oh, you like Bushman story? What about you? I don't know. You don't know what story you want? What about you? Well, same. No. Oh, Bushman story. Bushman story. Oh, you want a Bushman story too? You don't want a Bushman story? What story you want? A unicorn story? Well, we'll have to find a unicorn story and make sure we could tell you that. All right? I'm not asking you nothing because I know exactly the story you want. Well, of course. All right, but here's what we're going. Today's story that we're going to read is called Bolo and Papa Bois. So we're getting a bit of mystery, we're getting a bit of magic, we're getting a bit of fantasy, we're getting a bit of everything but everything folk. How does that sound? Does that sound okay? Yeah. All right, we ready for this? Yeah. <clears throat> Bolo and Papa Boa. Right. You know who Papa Boa is, right? Yeah. All you know who Papa Boa is? Yes. You know who Papa Boa So who's Papa Boa? Um, He's a hunter, he's a man, he's a what? He's a mystical being. He's a mystical being. Woo! I like that. He's one mystical being. All right. He is the father of the forest. Hence the reason Papa, which is father, Bois, which is wood. All right? So, father of the wood. Or father of the forest, as we call it. So, Bois, like you see stick fighting, is ball Bois, meaning wood or stick. All right? So, you know, but let's get into the story. Bolo was the biggest braggart in the village. When on moonlight nights, the men would sit together on the wooden bench outside the shop, that is, eh? or on the slope alongside the old bridge. Bolo would out talk everyone else sit with his boss. He would say that he is the smartest, handsomest, bravest of all the men in the village. He could sing, dance, and hunt better than anyone else in the village. Bolo swore that. Eh? You see, well, only one of everything that Bolo said was true, eh? and that was his prowess as a hunter. Now, he was a good hunter, you know, right? Bolo would leave with his gun and a big sack and say, I'm going in the forest to hunt, and I would bring back three manicures, four lap, five agouti, and one day, that's real hunting, you know. Sure enough, Bolo would return with all of these and sometimes even more. One night, the man of the village was sitting on the slope near the bridge talking about hunting. One of the young men observed, Bolo is really a good hunter. He can catch 
anything in the forest except Papa Bois. Bolo, who was about to join them, said angrily, who, who said I can't catch Papa Boa? I can catch anything I want in the forest, and that include Papa Boa. Uncle Santos, the oldest man in the village, warned him, he said, Bolo, Papa Boa is a spirit, and no one should joke about spirits. But Bolo was still angry and vain, boasted, I can catch anything I want including Papa Boa. Some days later, Bolo took his gun and a big sack and went in the forest for game. Soon, he spotted a deer, the biggest and most beautiful he had ever seen in all his years of hunting. Bolo aimed the gun at the deer. But in vain, for it disappeared into the bushes. Bolo followed the song made by the animals as it, as, as, as it made the way through the forest. And although he would see it, each time he raised his gun to aim, aha, uh -huh, you know it, the deer just vanished into the forest. Deeper and deeper into the forest, Bolo went. And as he followed the deer, until finally, he found himself in the deep woods where he had never been before. Hmm? Dun -dun. Scary music here, right? The day he neither saw nor heard, and Bolo decided to try and get out of the deep woods. This, however, was not at all easy. For Bolo found he was standing on marshy ground, and each time he tried to walk, his feet would sink into the earth. What is that he encountered? Quicksand. He was surrounded by trees whose heavy trunks seemed to have faces which mocked him. You know, you're watching and you see these thick, everybody watching and you see things in the dark, and it look like a face. But Bolo was seeing all that. Okay? And they had thick vines hanging from the branches which would sway towards him as if it wanted to punish him with the blows. So imagine, you only see anything coming at you. Whap! Whap! Then came the voice. Bolo! They seemed to whisper. Are you the bravest and boldest of hunters? Are you the one who would kill anything and anyone in the forest? Even Papa Bois? Bolo, are you? Will you, Bolo? Will you kill Papa Boa? Bolo covered his eyes with his hands and he screamed, No! No! And then he fainted. And he knew no more. What do you think happened? Bolo was frightened. Well, he was frightened because he heard a scream. And he passed out. But what do you think happened after that? He ended up in a hospital. He ended up in a, it have a hospital in the forest? No. What do you mean? He in the deep woods, you know. Yes. We're looking at that. Yes. Yeah? He stayed there. He stayed there. Okay, well, let me find out. He okay. Now, when the people in the village did not see Bolo return the next day, they did not think about it because hunters often go and stay a day or two in the woods. Right? You know, when you go hunting, sometimes they stay a day, two, three, and they come back sometime a week. When, however, one week went by, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which one you said, all right? Mm -hmm. They did not have to look far. They decided, you know what? Let me go look for Bolo. But they didn't have to look far, right? They found him sitting on a tree root, his gun, 
broken and the pieces scattered not far away and everybody when they look and they see that they knew exactly what had happened bolo the boaster was no more and papa bois the guardian of the forest had seen to this Crick crack. Some would say monkey break it back for a piece of pomerac. Or some would say crick crack, wire ben, and this is how the story ends. But I want to ask you a question. How did Papa Bois come into existence? Where he come from? Yeah. From the river? So Papa Bois just walk out the river just so? He got killed and now he's a spirit. He got killed and now he's a spirit. And then, then he hunts him. And then he hunts him. So wait, Papa Pake. Now that's a very interesting story, you know. But, and he turned into a ghost. And then he ruled the forest. And then he? He ruled the forest. He ruled the forest. So he get killed, come out of a river, get killed, turn into a ghost and he ruled the forest. That's what we're saying? Yeah. Well, you know it have a story in here telling you how Papa Boa came into existence? Mm -hmm. You want that story? Yes, sir. Yes. All you want that story? Yes! Ah, well, that is for another time. But in the meantime, why Ben? This story session with Uncle Curtis end. You want the next story? But let me ask you some things. We thought about this story. It good. That's all you could say. But it, the story was good. Was what again? It was wonderful. And interesting. It was interesting. What? It was amazing. It was amazing. What's interesting? What amazing? What was wonderful? What was good about the story? That it had a, well, a person named Bolo that liked to boast about he could do many things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he could do most was hunting. And he was saying that he could capture Papa Bolo, Boa, whatever he Papa Boa. for two seconds. Boa. <laughs> and after that, he went to go and try to capture him, and then he ended up getting captured. But let me ask you a story. What is the moral of this story? How he got captured. Stop boasting. So when you boast because you don't control the future and because you have no idea what may come your way, you need to be careful how you boast because you never know who's listening. And That's just creepy. may challenge. Huh? That's creepy. That's creepy? What? Well, you could go ahead and boast if you so desire, but no. we will see. All right? Until then, I want to say thank you, no. Wire Ben, and this story session ends.